Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as Albania in our Albania or Iberia campaign. Okay, so we are um, working to remove the Ottomans from Anatolia. We have basically fulfilled the objective. Um, we're ahead on tech all across the board. We are paying a little bit because we, we have to get this manufactories institution. So we're working on that. It's 1657 right now. It's the year 1657. So... Probably what's going to happen is we're going to annex the rest of Anatolia, maybe get Ottoman Crimea a little later, but we need to start attacking Spain. And uh, I'm still kind of trying to consider what's the best way to do that. Probably what I'm going to do as far as idea groups is for level 22 admin tech, I'm probably going to take either diplomatic or go, go the military route. What I might do is I might go diplomatic ideas, and then for the last two idea groups, we'll definitely be offensive in quality, and we'll probably be strong enough to battle um, the Iberians for Iberia. You know, that's got to happen somehow. We're going to have to attack Portugal. We're going to be fighting Spain. Spain is allied to Hungary, Austria, the Papal State. It's going to be some pretty serious shit. Pretty serious uh, wars that we're going to be fighting. We're going to need basically every ounce of manpower and taxes within the realm to be able to win. So, for now, we're making a lot of money. I'm building some manufactories and stuff to get the institution. Um, they also are just a good way to make money. Manufactories are really, really worth it when it comes to money here. Like, say, this is 0 0.51 ducats per month if I build a manufactory here, as well as increasing trade value. And that pays itself off very, very quickly. So, you know, that's good. Uh, we have a little bit of manpower. We're, we're slowly generating manpower back. Let's see here. After 10 years, we should have 100,000 men. I need, Honestly, I need the manpower cover to be probably faster than that, but... You know, what can you do? Um, let's see, these are both mountains here. We're going to have Rebel Uprising, Ottoman Separatists. All right, let's go and raise the army maintenance all the way then. Let's see, what is our combat width? Is 34? Let's make sure we have these regiments good to go. This is 29 inventory, so we need one more inventory here to make this proper stack. We want... We want 34 in the front row, shift consolidate here, 34 in the front row, row, not whoa, row, and then as much artillery as we can cram in the back line. So, let's take a look here. There we go, so this is, uh, yeah, this is a pretty large stack, this is 34 plus 20, so it's 54,000 men that we have to sit on. Um, let's take a look here. It doesn't really matter where they sprout up. As far as forts, I might get rid of this one in Azerum. I don't think we need it anymore. Uh, I'll keep the one in Trebus and Amasia and Mirage. We'll keep those around, I guess. Not that I'm expecting to be attacked or anything over here, but you never know. Uh, let's see, and this is 27 and 4, so we need more Artie for sure. Excellent minister, huh? Read the military benefits. Or admin. We need admin and stability. I'll take admin and stability any day. Um, don't get me wrong. Armor tradition stuff is good, but we're, you know, we're, we're okay right now. It's not terrible, but we're okay. It's not great. It's just, it's not bad. I'm not too concerned right now. So we already got done with his admin ideas. We will get another D group in two tech levels. Infantry shock, military tactics here. How are we doing on... Oh, interesting. Okay, so the infantry fire is actually more than the infantry shock right now, the modifiers. Although this will make it even. So make it 1.65 for shock and 1.6 for fire. So Saxon infantry, the only infantry that we can get now. Let's go and take a look here um, at the development here. I think the rebels should rise up here in Sevis. And we can actually support the full stack right there in Sevis. Should be fine. Um, let's go and select our only general that's alive now. We only have one general. He's a 3142. We're taking about 0.4% attrition here. These Ottomans should rise up in a second. 90%. Sunni Zealots will rise up as well, most likely in Mirage or Kaysiri. I'm not too concerned, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not scared of rebels. Let's convert those last two provinces here. We will core when we have some. We have some admin. We actually do have admin now. Dude, really, our king has the worst attributes ever and our heir. Shit. Okay. There we go. Damn separatists. Still taking some attrition here. We're back up to manpower, so we're getting some more manpower. Then we need to declare war on the Ottomans. Uh, we will go ahead and deny access for everybody. Sunni Zealots rose up. 
here, they have a huge morale disadvantage, so... Yeah, that was pretty handily won. Now we're gonna replenish those armies, though. No, Lithuania, you guys don't get access. No, 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 no. Oh, what the hell? Holy shit. Okay, we timed that really good, huh? Looks like they rose up here. I thought they were gonna rise up here and see this. Because that's the most development. Alright, whatever. Uh, we lost about, yeah, 10,000 men or so. It's all fine. Let's go to Deer Name. Burgess. So, Portugal, the Papal State, Austria, Hungary. Russia would join me in this war here. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. France, I want, I think I definitely want France to join me, although he looks a little busy right now. Um, Spain, Siena, and Austria. I could also theoretically battle just Hungary and Austria individually. And Spain is just kind of here. Let's see, what's Spain's navy? Spain is 25 heavy, 78 light, 0 galleys, 60 transport. So he can move over significant troops here. People State Portugal. That's what I'm worried about, is People State in Portugal. Um, I, I think I might even rather declare on Hungary himself. He's actually allied to me. Or he's friendly with me. Spain. Trust towards Spain. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how we're going to beat Spain. It's going to be something. That is going to be something. Um, we've got plenty of aggressive expansion over here, so we really can't do much. I really am considering attacking just Austrian Hungary. Or at least maybe trying to ally one of these guys or something. I don't know. I mean, Austria is threatened by me. Bohemian Tuscany. Yeah, we can't attack Austria directly because he's in the HRE. That, that'd bring over that huge-ass alliance that's here in the HRE, and that makes my job harder. Reformed here, Protestantism here. Hmm. Spain owns Canada, and he went into Brazil. We definitely, I, I mean, might rival the Britain. I might actually want to change that. I might not want to be rival the Britain. I'd rather be uh, rival the Burgundy or something. I'd, I'd like to make Britain my friend. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, you know. Ottoman Crimea is probably going to be seized by Lithuania. There's a lot of troops there. Holy shit. Who's hostile? Bohemia. Uh, Poland could be an ally. Like I said, there's no union here. Lithuania dislikes me. He's actually threatened by me. Build a weapons manufacturing in Skopje. Sweet. Reduce our extension. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's see. How's the institution coming along? Athens, you're about to get it. Tarnovo, you're about to get it. Where Skopje, you're gonna get it a little, in a little bit. Uh, these places might get it fairly soon. Epirus Regressa, you belong to the burgers, right? Yes, yes you do. Hmm. You know, I'm actually thinking. Declaring war on Hungary would probably be one of the easiest ways to break up this alliance chain. Declare war on Hungary and Austria and beat them both and have them sign separate pieces to null treaties with Spain and then just focus on Spain himself. I only need like one province. I release Naples and then we declare another a reconquest war for this guy. I've got a pretty potent navy. Let's see, I got 31 lights, 32 galleys, 30 transports, and I can get even more. We definitely should should see if I can build some more shipyards. I can build grand shipyards, although they're pretty pricey. Um, I'd probably need full manpower and full force limit to invade and fight all three of these guys at once. Although, I might actually be overestimating their strength. Let's go and do it by alphabetical. So, like, Austria. Austria's got... Oh, wait, that's the navies. Shit, that's why. Austria, what's Austria's force limit? It's 46. What's Hungary's force limit? Holy ball sack, it's fucking 69. You're telling me Hungary is more powerful than... Wow. Yeah, Hungary is more powerful than Austria. That's what it looks like. Holy shit. So declaring war on him... Uh, Austria just went to war with France and Savoy. He's allied in a war... Who are you fighting? 
Austrian conquest of Volstadt, and then there's Venice. Venice is actually pretty large over here, too. He's hostile. He dislikes all the people that I dislike, though. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, we could. We could declare war on, on Hungary. Siena, Spain, and Austria will come in. Siena's no bother. Spain and Austria. Spain, if he can't get troops over here, I could probably just take care of him myself. Um, my navy probably needs to be improved a little bit. I might, I might want to get some heavies. Uh, I don't really think I can afford them, though, can I? Oh, yeah, we are, we're a floor maintenance, huh, aren't we? Hmm. Like, can I grab, like, nine heavies? How much is that? Six decades a month, 448 decades to build. Let's try it. Let's try and get some heavies. We got plenty of galleys, so... You know, we can engage here in the Mediterranean, I guess, fairly easily. Compared to, um... Compared to other nations. Um, I'd, I'd really just have to keep... Let's see, an agricultural revolution. Please tax, please. We're capped down on uh, Diplo. About some mercantilism. Is there anything else I can do? This is admin. Yeah, we'll just do it once. I'm sure. Uh, let's see how much this trading can go by, go up by. I don't know if that affected us very much, but oh, well, that's fine. Um, let's see. I really should build some of these, some of these marketplaces, but like Bessarabia could probably use one. There already is not. Yeah, there already is a marketplace there. Constantinople probably obviously has one. Ragusa, you have a marketplace, right? Yeah. The AI is actually pretty good at building marketplaces and stuff around around the area. Shirvan, this belongs to the burgers as well. This has a marketplace. Yeah, we're fine. See, unrest is gone. It depends for Crete. That's, that's not too big of a deal. It's not, it doesn't concern me. Um, let's core the rest of uh, our provinces here. So yeah, I'm not sure um, how, how this is going to work. Like I said, I want to declare war on Hungary. Siena won't join here. Spain, Austria actually might not join this war either. War exhaustion, if it gets high enough. Hmm, let's take a look at this guy. I'm still trying to force these guys to break their alliances. It's not really easy. They're not likely to do it. Yeah, we make about 10 decades a month at full maintenance. We need more troops, for sure. We need more... Artillery's alright. I, I probably just want more infantry, I think, for like a proper... Because our proper stack here is 54. This is 31. Let me see. 27. Oh yeah, we make 10 ducats a month at full maintenance. So now it's like 8.51. But we're getting 5 ducats a month for naval forces. So our income is going to kind of decline a little bit unless we invest in our um, in our tax base. Hmm. I could just start building these everywhere. Workshops are also not bad. Manufacturers are definitely pretty profitable. But they are expensive. 500 ducats. Well, now it's 490, but... Inflation's actually killing us, too. Hmm. When's the truth of the Ottomans up? In 1679 years from now. Okay. Naples, you don't have any stuff over here. You don't have any cores over here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Austria's a little busy up here. Yeah, we might be able to declare war or something over there. The French are actually kicking some ass. Looks like the French are engaging uh, the Austrians over here. These guys are black flagged. Looks like they white pieced or something. Austria, Savoy be forced to give Austria some, uh, some war reps, you know. Okay, uh, let's see. Russia's over here. He's bordering me. Hopefully he can declare war on Lithuania and he can just take some of that territory. Get closer to me. He's got permanent claims on a couple of my provinces, although I don't think he's likely to declare war on me for them. Let's take some tech. Yeah, we are falling behind in tech. Uh, the people stay. Will you break an alliance with Spain? No, I didn't think so. 
Yeah, I think that might be our way in. As we declare war on Hungary, Blitzkrieg his ass. He had a couple forts, although he might turn them off. We Blitzkrieg his ass. And we get him to white peace. Or at least we battle him and we get him to annul his treaties. And then Austria, same thing. We occupy Carnton, Vienna, and maybe Tyrol. And we get him to... Um, we get him to set, uh, annul those treaties. The Dierne. Conservative backlash, huh? Let's go and give some stuff to the nobility. Manpower recovery speed will help me out. We should declare war no guy. Let's see, we got a little bit of manpower back. Did we finally get our heavies? We did. Here are our heavies. We're still constructing a couple. How's income? Yeah, it's definitely a little, a little lower. We're rooting out a lot of corruption. Holy shit. 10 ducats a month on corruption spending. No wonder it's so expensive, holy damn. There we go, that's where our money was going into corruption spending. All right. It's going to be even lower once this overextension has gone. Well, he may embrace manufactories. Yeah, we need some cash for this institution, so we'll have to just kind of chill for a second. We're making 16 ducats a month at full maintenance. Jesus Christ. But then again, we have half our force limit. We need to get way up in that force limit. We need to be a lot higher. Um, or else we can't compete on multiple fronts. It's just not going to work that way. Let's leave Macedonia. Dearne, Sophia. Scopia is going to get it. Let's go for that national tax modifier. Come on, man. Let me embrace this institution. Shit. Ragusa's gonna get it. So is, uh... No, yeah, it's just Ragusa for now. Ragusa. Corfu already has it. Dodis already has it. 50 admin for 5 Patrick Authority. Yeah, that's good. I need some admin anyway. We're a little behind. Because of all the coring. We'll attack that guy later. Still does not turn off these forts. Siena is not going to join this this war here. Spain. Hungarian diplomatic reputation, I guess, is crappy, but... I don't know. Hungary. Russia, you won't join? Russia is, holy shit, 2,000 ducats in debt. Oh my god. That is a lot. Nice. Get diplomatic reputation. Let's go and develop a little bit. Goose, uh, we get some Diplo anyway. We're not using our Diplo right now. Yeah, we need 2,800 ducats to be able to uh, embrace this institution right now until it spreads a little more. So. 3-3-2. Yep. Mamet Castriotti. We have uh, Alexander the First. No, Poland. He's 19 years old, so we're going to have him for a while. He's not a great ruler, though. He's a 3-3-2. Three, three, it's all right. Still thinking, is there anybody that can use as an ally against this guy? Theoretically, Burgundy. Burgundy's out with Great Britain, though. So it's Burgundy, Great Britain, and then me and France. Spain, your ass still needs to go down. I don't know. <sighs> Shit. We're running out of time. 1663 already. It's going to take a long time to conquer Iberia. It's going to be some serious shit. Um, probably what we will do is release Aragon. Maybe. I might have to release Aragon. Ooh, Naples did, lost his cores here. Oh, balls. That's not good. Okay, so we'll have to release Naples. We'll have to eat. Uh, I might even just get from Naples to these islands, get to the Balearis, and then we'll release Aragon and just give Aragon all of this. Just conquer the shit out of Iberia in like 100 years. We gotta get rid of these damn alliances first. I'd rather battle these guys in one brutal ass war. France would join this one. I'd rather battle Austria and Hungary in one brutal ass war and get them to be unaligned or unallied to Spain. And then we kick Spain's ass. It's doable. It's, it's doable. It's gonna take some it's, it's gonna take some work though. <laughs> we need some manpower, we gotta do some stuff. Holy shit. 
You just spent some money. Let's see here. We upgraded... What did we upgrade? Our cogs? Galleys? Yeah, we upgraded our galleys. That's good. Personal union on monarch death? That would not be good. Russia, Russia would become our overlord. Hmm. 332 Emperor Alexander I Castriotti. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to consider my options. Um. I mean, we can, we can declare whenever. <laughs> you know, honestly. We can declare whenever. No, I, I guess sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and get, um. Damn it, did I mess up my stacks again? Yeah, I think I did. This guy needs three inventory, I think. Because combat width is 34, yes. Mm, no, hold on. Let's go grab these artillery. It's a 54 stack. This guy needs, we'll give him like 10 artillery and three more inventory. So, three more inventory, 10 artillery. It's expensive, yeah, damn. I might even just start murking up. Ooh, Bohemia is the emperor again. I got reelected. I might even just start murking up and make all of our inventory mercs. Although that's going to seriously eat into our income. Then again, mercs aren't that expensive compared to the regulars. Mercs are 0 0.51 per month versus 0 0.16. Never mind. They are incredibly expensive, even with admin ideas. Holy shit. And while we have a truce to the Ottomans, might as well just try and fight Hungary. Get him to, um... Uh, Get him to annul these treaties. I don't know. I don't know if it's doable, but we can try. I'd really prefer for these forts not to be maintained. Yeah, if we occupy everything, we can do it. Um... How strong are you, Poland? Hungary's got 59,000 men. Poland's got 43. Poland would maybe be a help. Bohemia is rival to Hungary as well. How strong is Bohemia? Bohemia's the emperor. Bohemia's got goddamn 90,000. That might be our way in. Bohemia might be the uh, the help that we need. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and roll marry him as well because he's got no legal heir. And if he dies, that means that there's a secession war between Albania and Poland, and I would definitely, definitely win that battle. So if I declared war on you, Bohemia will join me on promise of favors, or promise of territory. That would work out very, very well. 90,000 men on the northern flank of Hungary? Oh, dude, we can kick these guys' asses. Austria and Hungary, we take a little bit of Croatia. Take a little bit of Croatia. Annex, or get this, get this guy to annul his treaties. Yeah. That would work out very well. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Bohemian help. Yep. I think that's the way it's going to happen. We'll have to oppose the Spanish. Basically at sea. We're going to have to pose them with everything we've got in the uh, in the ocean. Let's get an admiral. One, two, one. Not bad. Let's see. How many generals? Uh, let's get one more general. Is it two, two, three, one? Two, three, three, one. Who's this guy? Oh, we lost our other general. Okay, let's let's roll one more. A four, zero, three, one. That's not bad. This guy is going to be... He's going to be a seizure. This guy is going to be the fire. And so we're going to put... We're going to invade Zagreb here with the 54. We're going to invade, this is what, uh, Kerala Folds? Yeah, the mountains with this guy. We're going to intercept enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. And we're going to put this guy up here. It's mountains. Hopefully we can take that fairly quickly. We've got plenty of artillery for all of this. We've got uh, we've got a pretty decent reserve of manpower. We got a lot of money. Let's try and make it happen. We're gonna be behind on tech because we need twenty seven hundred ducats to embrace the institution. 
But I think the war is definitely um, a more important thing right now. It's pretty it's pretty pressing. We need to get rid of the Austrian and the Hungarian alliances with Spain before we make any headway at all. We're not going to make any headway if we don't do that. Bohemia will join me. France will join me. You might as well call in France. He's, he wants some cores over here. We'll have to try and try and do our best with that. He's got some troops. France is not weak, per se. It's just he's small. He's got 43,000, 52 forcemen. Maybe he'll merc up a little bit. We'll see. Uh, let's see. We're making about 18 ducats a month at full maintenance. Never mind. 21 ducats a month at full maintenance. I could even hire more troops. Um, I might even do that. 98, 169, 100,000 men to battle all these guys. Now, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, we'll go for Zagreb. Corral the fold. We'll hunt enemy fleets, engage the Spanish. 1665. It's February 24th, 1665. We will annul treaties with Austria, Hungary, with Spain, and then we'll try and release Naples. And then we're on our way. Alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. We go to war in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.